All right, welcome back everyone to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now today's topic is all about eating and what is the volume of food you should be having in terms of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's an old saying that says, eat breakfast like a king, eat lunch like a prince, and dine like a pauper. Well, the question is, does that really hold true? Now, there were some studies that were well done in the past that showed that eating a big breakfast, medium lunch, and small dinner actually led to more weight loss than the other way around going on. Let's look at the latest study. Now, this is a study that was published in Cell just recently. And what they were looking for was to answer exactly the same question, but in a much more scientific fashion. So in this particular study, they had 16 men and 14 women. And these were all folks who were either overweight or obese. So remember the definition of overweight is BMI over 25. The definition of obese is BMI over 30 going on. And what they did was for four weeks, they fed them essentially an isocaloric, which means the calorie content was the same. And the proportions were, it was 30% protein, 35% carbohydrate, and 35% fat going on. So what they ended up doing was after four weeks, they gave them a one week washout and then they switched them. So the folks that had the big breakfast, they were switched over to now the small breakfast, big dinner going on. And what they did to measure how much energy they were expending were they used the doubly labeled water method. For those who don't know, that's a very highly accurate way of trying to assess how much energy is actually being expended. So what did they find? Well, what they ended up finding here was that the energy expenditure and the total weight loss were actually the same for both the morning group that had the big breakfast and the evening group that had the big dinner. Both groups ended up losing about three kilograms or seven pounds each during each of the four weeks going on. So if you're listening to this study, the question is, well, does that mean that big breakfast, medium lunch, small dinner does not matter and you can do it the opposite? It actually turns out that there is a little flaw in this study and they actually showed it, which is when they asked the participants, what was better for controlling their appetites? They said that when they had a big breakfast, they felt like they were satiated and that they were able to control their appetites better throughout the day going on. The reason this matters so much is when we look at weight gain, a lot of folks, when they come home tired from work and so forth, they are stressed. And that's where the ability for them to control their appetite goes down. They end up eating too much. So part of what makes a bigger breakfast, medium lunch, smaller dinner, a more sustainable method is the fact that it can control your appetite during the day better and leading into the evening. So if it helps you to control your appetite and eat less, it may actually be a better option. Same thing if you're doing time-restricted feeding or intermittent fasting, focusing on more of the daytime hours rather than more of the evening hours can be just the thing to optimize your intermittent fasting regimen. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you got a question, drop it in the comments or send me an email. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.